So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lamp that is local developer quick start first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos now let's get started now open local incognito window now here basically we have to enter the username and password present on the lab instructions so just go back to the lab instructions wait for the looker to first fully load now copy the username from here paste the password here and just click on login now make sure to follow the video carefully otherwise you miss single step you won't get full score on this lab so just wait now here the first step is that you need to know the development port for modifying files or executing anything in the looker so this is the first step so we will turn on this toggle so one thing you have to wait for the page to fully load once so finally it's loaded now click on this toggle it will basically enable the development word and as you can see on the top there is mentioned you are in development mode now in the description box of this video i've shared this github report now you have to create a view so go to develop and from here click on quick labs e-commerce wait for to it to load now go to task number one and from here copy the view name carefully make sure there is no extra space or full stop copy the name now here click on these three dots just next to view enter the name and just create now you have to replace the entire contents just replace it with the repo one so just copy it here and just paste over here and it will update now for training e-commerce file go to models and open it now replace the entire content now scroll down a bit and again copy it from the github repo and if you haven't liked the video like it and subscribe the channel now save and validate look ml now for committing we need to commit some changes once the validate validation is offer now here enter the commit message and just click on commit and now you have to just click on deploy to production so this part is finally done now we have to go to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for all the task let's see whether we get full score or not so when you hit check my progress you'll get the score for this task and for the next task too so that's the way we have to complete this lab it may take time to update the score if it's longer than four to five minutes just restart the lab and complete it again do check the playlist for the labs and have a great day ahead